Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the style sheets applied on links, hyperlinks. So how many ways we can apply the CSS on hyperlinks? So mainly the link can be created by using the anchor tag. Okay, we all know about that. So whenever you click on that link, the, it will be redirected to the some other web page so which we have given in that particular particular uh, hyperlink so these links will be executed in four different stages so four stages will be there so we can apply the css in all four stages the first stage is a normal link okay we will represent it as a column link a, a here represents the anchor tag a represents the anchor tag a dot link that is nothing but unvisited link unvisited link and coming to the second stage that means just a created created link okay we are not we have not visited that particular link okay and the next one is a colon visited a colon visited that means after visiting that link after clicking on that link okay so this is nothing but a visited link after the user visiting that particular link once and the next one is a colon h over h over h over means whenever the pointer moves towards that particular link then that will be applied moving cursor towards the link and the last one is active 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 means whenever the user clicks on that link okay clicks on that link so these are the four stages the link will be applied okay the anchor tag will be having that link and we can apply the css we can apply the css for all these four stages so mainly the css styles that can be applied on links are the first one that is a color a normal color normal color for the font okay and the second one is text decoration text decoration so this text decoration means by default if you create any link by using uh, any hyperlink using the anchor tag some underline will be getting okay by default it will be getting the underline so if any text having the underline and if you move the mouse pointer toward the underline that uh, the underlined text automatically we can uh, uh, see that uh, link is enabled okay so that type of underline can be removed by using this text decoration so if you use this text decoration we can remove the underline uh, even though we, we have created the link okay and the third one is a background color so we can also give the background color for the link background color okay so we can apply all these three styles for each and every stage so for a colon link we can apply the color text decoration background color for a dot a colon visited we can apply the color text decoration background color a colon h over we can apply the color text decoration and background color a active we can apply all these things okay and the color we can know that uh, the color and the background color the color and background color can be represented by using a color name color name or we have already seen this rgb function hsl function hexadecimal hexadecimal so we can use any one of among these four to represent a color so already we have done a video regarding this color representation right so you can go through that particular one and the next one is a text decoration text decoration the text decoration will be having a two values one is a none another one is a underline under underline so if if you give the value for this text decoration as none 
automatically the link will not have that underline and if you by default it will be having the underline by default if you are not giving any text decoration automatically we can see the underline for the links hyperlinks so if you if you want to remove then you have to use this text decoration and give the value for this text decoration as none so that the underline will be removed okay for each and every stage for each and every stage we can apply these three styles one is a color text decoration and the background color okay so i will i will write the some small html code demonstrating each and every stage with each and every style so so that you will be understanding right so let's move on to the computer and i will execute these things hello friends so just now we have seen about the links concept in css so how many ways we can we can apply the style for the hyperlinks now we'll see the implementation part for that we'll go with the html code small html code i will start with the html tag and then see i'll move on with the head and in the head we'll go with the style because we are using some uh, internal style sheet okay and here we'll go with the links okay so there are four states for the links that is a colon link and here we can give the color property so whatever the color we required so that color can be given here for example by default we'll give some blue okay blue a link a colon link means this is a unvisited link unvisited link and the next one is visited a colon visited so that means after visiting the link what is the color should be right so color uh, it should be i think uh, it must be with a brown let us go with the brown color and there is another state a colon h over which is nothing but when when the mouse pointer moves uh, moves towards the particular link then what what the color should be displayed right so color must be changed to green okay whenever the mouse pointer move towards that link the color of that link should be green and a colon active the last one is a active so whenever the mouse pointer or the user clicks on that particular link automatically the color should be changed so that color should be um, let us take it as red okay the active link is red now see close the style tag and close the head tag close the uh, sorry open the body and here we can go with the anchor tag okay anchor tag so let us take a href is equal to give the source give the location okay www dot youtube dot com slash c slash so this is our channel link okay this is the ch channel link so i will write here sandeep saradi and i will close the anchor tag i will close the anchor tag okay so i will write this with the uh, h1 okay h1 in order to get a uh, big size okay and i will close the h1 close the body html okay we need not give any class or id because we are directly using the anchor tag okay and tag name we are directly using the tag name so in order to represent the state of the tag uh, this anchor tag we are giving the colon a colon link a colon visited a colon h over and a colon active now let us save this one and let us check whether the style has been applied or not so links dot html so automatically the links dot html will be saved and uh, so you can observe here so this is one if you execute this one we'll get it see the sandeep saradi okay the first link will be blue color that means unvisited link by default it will be an unvisited link and visited brown visited brown that means after clicking on the link we'll get a brown and h over whenever you move the mouse pointer towards the link automatically it will be turned to green okay and active is red whenever you click this one it will change it to red see red i, I didn't uh, release the mouse press okay i didn't released i just clicked on and after released automatically some it will be redirected to the uh, this one okay website 
and if you again go with this one just a second i will i will give the complete thing target is equal to new let us execute this one now so automatically it will move to the website and if you close see this is a visited link so we have already visited this one so automatically the visited link will be brown colored so it, it changes to brown again if you move with the mouse pointer it will move with the green color so as we have mentioned here and whenever you click this one automatically you are not released so i have not released the mouse press okay i just press the this one so then it will be an active link and it will be turned to red okay so hope you understood this one so this is how we can apply the styles for the hyperlinks also and there is a one more property that is called uh, text decoration that means uh, we can remove this underline we can remove this underline so by default if you create any link we'll get this underline okay we'll get this underline and if you want to remove this underline go with the another property called text decoration text decoration colon and here this text decoration will be having the two values that is none and underline go with the none go with the none so you can observe here so underline has been removed okay underline has been removed right so the same thing you can go with the remaining also text decoration see none and go with the h over so whenever you move the mouse pointer towards the uh, link i should I, I just want to get the underline so give this here underline okay whenever the mouse pointer moves towards the link i just want the underline so i am give i am taking as an underline right so here also i will go with the no underline none so only two values will be taken by this text decoration so you can observe here if you execute this one no underline whenever you move the cursor you will get an underline okay whenever you move the cursor or a pointer towards the link we'll get the underline because we have given h over h over means moving the mouse towards the uh, link so then it will be underlined okay and there is a one more property called background color so we can also change the background color see background color yellow so unvisited link see you can observe unvisited link it will be background color yellow and here also you can give the background color for everything for every state we can give the background color background color and this is a visited so whenever you visit that one we'll get this one okay so let us take uh, uh, some pink okay after visited after visited and here you can move with this one so background color so this is a h over okay h over for h over we'll go with the violet and here this is a active link active whenever you click the link okay I will go with the black color. I will go with the black color. So here we have to give the semicolon. So you can observe if you execute this one. See the background color has been changing. Okay. So let us take the link. Okay. You can get it. Okay. So this is how we can apply the background color for different. Uh, things okay right so this is the link already visited so that's why we are getting some color pink okay so by default it will be some yellow if it is a non visited link it will be yellow and if it is a visited it will be coming to the pink and h over it will be violet okay it will be violet 
so light change is there to the background or simply you can go with a black so you see black color okay so black color and uh, active link is also black so I have pressed the link but I am not releasing so this is an active active state so automatically it will be converted to black so this is how we can apply the styles for the hyperlinks hyperlinks so for that we are having the four states for all the four states we can give the different colors that means that we unvisited visited h over and active right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, uh, styling on links so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so the definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much